What's going on guys, Chaos Prime here and today we have a different type of Anthem video for you. This was actually requested by Tiska on my Discord, so I decided to compile the 10 things we as players can do to make the game more enjoyable for others. Because we all know there are a few things going on right now that players are doing that's basically ruining the experience, right? There's things that people do consciously that really they shouldn't do. So if this relates to you, if you've experienced any of these, leave a comment in the comment section below and air your thoughts. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, tick that notification bell, and don't forget to share. Right, without further ado, let's get into our top 10 things we as players can do to make the game more enjoyable to others, or should I say, here are the top 10 things we should not be doing. In no particular order, at number 10, stop leaving strongholds early. I get it. You are after some awesome loot, right? But that doesn't mean you should ruin the experience for other players in your group. Pre-made stack of four power to you. But if you're going in matchmaking, don't leave after the first two chests. I know people do it. Just finish the stronghold. It's not long. Number nine. Stop using your fire on CC frozen enemies. Yes, I'm looking at you, thick boys. I know how you want to take that slick fist of crucible out and start spraying that awesome red flame all over the enemies just to spite the storms. This, however, is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Do not do it. It makes engagements longer than they need to be. Plus, you should be using Voltaic Dome anyway to CC, not the flamethrower like any good colossus. At number 8, ever see those javelins? Yeah, you know, the ones sitting in the back firing pea shooters using a straw at enemies like they were in some intergalactic battle? I mean, guns are fun, right? We all love guns, right? They're awesome, right? Great, now stop using them. Instead, use your abilities. Now repeat after me. Abilities equal good. Weapons equal last resort when stuff are on cooldown. Come on, say it. Say it. Say it. Abilities equal good. Weapons equal last resort when things are on cooldown. Good. On to the next point. Number seven. Right, so you know that red triangle icon you see over the javelins? Yeah, the one you see in the middle of the page when you're down. Remember that one? Cool. Did you know it's not actually a power up, buff, or anything of that kind? In fact, the myth that touching players with this symbol would decrease your chances of loot is highly misleading. Total opposite in fact. You want to go to these people and press the square or X button on console and F on PC. At least I believe it's F. This will do wonders for your damage. You go from doing 75% damage to instantly 100% damage. I mean, how cool is that, right? By performing the action on your buddy, you gain an instant, indefinite 25% boost. This will, however, wear off the moment another player receives this icon. But if you repeat the said process, you will instantly gain that awesome 25% boost per javelin. Amazing, right? Best of all, it's not hard to see. So stop ignoring it and actively losing damage output and get your asses over there and get them up. Number 6. Hard scoping. Hard scoping is bad. Sure you get a bead on the titan over there, but did you see that insanely awesome fireball by Shin Ryu coming towards you from Camp Capcom? Yep, from a completely different game, a fireball travels dimensions and universes to get to you, and despite the time taken to travel to you, because you're hard scoped, you totally miss it and get hit, and risk gaining your team an impressive 25% damage debuff. Be aware of your surroundings, even if it takes a multiverse for the Bible to come to you, be aware of your surroundings. Number 5. Learn what your class excels at. As an example, Colossus are good at CC, aggro, and debuffing, also known as the Javelin King. And also known as the best class in the game, Bastion, Universe, Multiverse, you name it, it's the best. And remember, you don't need to rush in and go for the weak combo when you have a Ranger or Interceptor right by you. That is their job. Let them run in and risk life and limb as you stand back, 
using your big laugh emote as legendaries drop without you even firing a single bullet. See? It's a win-win, right? Number 4. Running past mobs in strongholds. Every mob has a chance to drop masterworks and legendaries. Skipping past said enemies reduces your chances of getting said loot. If you want loot, commit genocide in strongholds. See? This works, right? If you don't want loot, keep doing what you're doing, running past everything, and then by the time you get to the end and you get absolutely nothing, head over to Reddit and start crying that you're not getting any loot because you're not killing anything. Number 3. Stop speed running and pulling your team through. It's annoying and ruins the experience for your other teammates. I mean, we suffer from load times already. Don't be the cause of even more load screens. Karma will catch up with you and remove all your luck for that run. True story, it's been proven. You can just ask the RNG gods if you ever find them. They will tell you. Number two, don't be a dumbass. Don't go into GM203 as an epic freelancer or a masterwork freelancer with all universal components. Do not be that person. If you do, bad things start happening to you. You become a dragoon from Final Fantasy XIV. They are well known for their awesome tanking skills. And when I say tanking, I mean tanking the floor. And you'll be doing a lot of that if you go into a GM203 with that setup. So no, it's bad. Do not do it, do not even attempt it, don't even think about it. If you do, there are specialist rehab centers that can help you change your mindset. Make sure to give them a call and check them out. Number 1. Finally, you're new to the game, you're level 10. Teaming up with that buddy who's already level 30, right? But you want to level up quickly so you can start doing stuff with your buddy who's level 30. Well, that's fine. You've got free play for that, you've got missions for that. But for the love of God, do not, under any circumstances, join a legendary contract as a level 10. If you do, then be prepared to forever face the hellish storms of the brutal RNG that will rain loot upon you that will forever be green even at level 30. Moral of the story, don't be an ass. don't expect people to carry you, and don't join level 30 legendary contracts as a level 10. Do not do it. It is bad. Well guys, that's my top 10 things for people not to do and for people to be more conscious about in things they do in the game. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to drop a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share. Right? stream tomorrow, so until the next video, remain legend.